deter people. Bring it in. Bring it in. I, I, I said it in the last video. I said it in the video before. I'm on point with these things. Here we are preparing for a super cycle, guys. A super bull run. Uh, preparation. There's things that I want to speak on in this video. Let's cut down a little bit of this information. Some cool stuff that's popped off. And then I just want to have a reminder. Uh, uh, one to the XRP army, but also specifically to you, know, my family over here at the Money Mafia, about the importance here of making sure that during this super cycle that you do take some profits set some set some coins aside that you are going to regain your investment plus some and then have your additional crypto sitting on the sidelines for those higher numbers but you got to understand how we're going to play this understand these do come in cycles but let's tap down into it guys listen spot price of bitcoin sitting at 43,976 uh just sliding up under 44 not too long ago actually but like i said we are sitting very bullishly above those price targets again. Uh, we broke above that 37, 38,000 range, broke up to 43, 44, retraced back down to 41. That's when we saw that influx of where that money kind of moved as there was that little dip to altcoins, which is now boost those altcoins. XRP currently sitting at 67 cents, baby. Listen, we was at 69 cents earlier today. Guys, we're teetering on that 70 cents mark. We broke that 65, 66 cent mark. But guys, we are not fully in the green yet. I don't expect there to be too much downtrend or changing of this. But understand that our key for this coming up week is to maintain and close above that 66 cent mark. I truly believe that prior probably before wednesday we'll be seeing uh 70 cent figures just based off of how things are sitting up how the charts sitting up how the information is coming in and how the things are queuing in as we're coming closer into one the bitcoin having the uh infrastructure being placed down or or, or i guess i say being fully implemented coming in this 2024 guys like i said in the last video y'all are not going to see this 60 cent price for too much longer which we're about to leave up out of here anyways but realistically guys let's not get too crazy but there's the possibility of movement to a dollar theoretically before that december closing point now do i see that happening no but i do see us getting to the point to where it's like you're not far off i you know i i, I adamantly see us breaking above that 74 cent 75 cent mark and the pool above that 74 cent mark sends us up to that next uh all-time high of 95 cents and all-time high being you know in the last you know year or two years or, so, or such like that all-time high for the t totality is like three dollars but once we break against that 95 cents, you know, skyline, one dollar and twenty cents marks, things like that. But we're gonna stay where we are right now as far as that goes. Let's break down this info though. Listen, Medico, guys, I posted this in the last video. The things are getting more and more delicious, more and more zesty. Pause. Check it out here. Uh um Expanded partnership between Medico and BBVA allowing BBVA Switzerland to embark on a new stage in its crypto strategy characterized by its highest standard of security operational agility. Guys, now understand BBVA is a Spanish bank, one of the largest banks out here, right? And now they have, again, tapped in with Medico and are going into this tokenization of assets. Check it out. We've been speaking on this. We know this is occurring, but it's just beautiful to see it land, you know, it's not just you know us having ideas or oh you guys are crazy you're just the crazy crypto no these things are being fully implemented dropping on the day-to-day -day in this financial climate as things change two out of three in addition medical harmonized opens the door for bbva to expand its range of services in the future to such services uh such such as servicing tokenization of assets which i just mentioned uh to meet the needs of private banking customers and institutional clients three out of three this is yet another testament to medical harmonize represents the institutional standard for financial institutions and corporations to build blockchain and digital asset services that delight individual institutioners uh institutional customers around the world listen now you've got BBVA kicking into this tokenization. Not only with BBVA, what did we speak on uh, previously before? Just to bring this in, I want everybody to understand how we've now got South America. you got Spain kicking in, right? Uh, breaking news, Brazil, billion-dollar banking giant, biggest bank, uh, Ital Unibanco is diving into Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are launching crypto trading services to use it. Uh, users starting with Bitcoin and Ethereum and soon expanding to Ripple's XRP and more. Guys, the the floor is being laid down the floor is realistically already being laid down but now they just opened up the door to the mall and we rushing in it's black friday understand the time is now stack what you can every cent that i put in the xrp is up right now including what i bought on friday at 63 cents 
The time is now. Do not, we don't want to get overzealous. Don't throw your, everything you own in there. But what you can afford to lose in, right? Not financial advice. But like I said, what other investment or what else is your money doing right now where you could be up 70% as things unfold and we haven't even gotten to settlement yet? Guys, we're cracking towards a dollar before the settlement news is broken out. I don't think people quite understand. And I want people to note down here as well, we're about to get ready to pass by Binance. We, we obviously had to have done it earlier when we were 69 cents. About to be passing by Binance but in market cap, right? What is about 100 million? 100 million? Or, yeah, 100 million? I think around 69 cents, that's going to put us above Binance and put us in that number four spot of cryptos, guys. Pulling back in. Analyst plays XRP as the top coin for the 2024-2025 bull run. OP news. Guys, this has been stated. I'm seeing this bustle in around. Listen, I want everybody to do this. On my last video and the video for, I want y'all to go in the comments. Notice how many bots are popping up. And then what I noticed is notice how many people like are running in with just for, oh, XRP. There was like one, and it's like, some of them responding, but some of them, I'm just, I'm sure they're bots. Because one of them was like, yeah, you're only going to, y'all are only going to see $2 in this board. I'm sitting up, I'm like, oh, no. No, not 6X on my returns. No. That's, no, no, please. Don't give me six times what I have. I'm sitting up and saying, you're not even making a valid point. But I'm noticing that circulating. As the same things happen is as these media companies are making their rounds, dropping XRP. Your XRP this, XRP that, crypto, uh, Bitcoin, right? Guys. This is going to be a super cycle. This is not going to be like the bull run of 2021. Guys, this is about to be probably the biggest crypto bull run which we have seen. One, because there's the security of the fact that not only was there a bull run and it maintained those prices and, and, and was able to kind of actually recover from that dip, right? But now you've got What's going on in the financial climate? Now you've got what's going on in our system of banking, the SWIFT system, the transfer. You're getting all that that's bundling in right now. Guys, I'm going to keep saying it. Stack your tokens while you can. Stack your coins. Now, put it on through. Quick little video. I love this. And we're going to go in. As everybody knows, uh, uh, the CEO of JP Morgan, uh, Jamie Dimon, basically was saying crypto is illegal and should be banned, right? Let's watch this quick video, right? Explain it again the you how, how again everybody here probably already understands, but I just love having successful people that are in the space with the means telling you again, hey, look, this is what's going on. This is an this is institutional, guys. We are investing with institutions, front running institutions. Understand that. Far from AMC, I had I heard somebody was saying something similar. I was like, guys, this is not that. Cryptocurrency does not seek to replace currency. Fair use. It's a bad name. Cryptocurrency seeks to replace banking. The core things that banks have done since the 1300s, those are gonna go away, 100%. And, and let's just be clear what I mean by that. The reason that we even have banks, banks originated in Italy around the year like 1340, all right? And the reason they originated was because of a set of accounting advances that allowed banks to serve as trusted intermediaries between parties that owed each other money. Before that, literally, I would write you a note and I would promise to pay you money and you'd put the note in your pocket and you'd see if anybody else would take the note. You know, that's, that's why we refer to discounting notes. And then banks arose and it was like, you no longer need to do that. We'll take care of it for you, but you're gonna have to pay us to do that. That function of needing a trusted intermediary to maintain ledgers of account to figure out, do I owe Brooks money or does Brooks owe me money? It turns out that function no longer has to be done by human beings. The same way we don't need postal clerks anymore mm. i can send you an email for free and it's in listen to it guys again we're not replacing the banking system now don't get me wrong there is going to be you know a, 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 some at some a part of that spectrum getting replaced as we are kind of replacing fiat currency right but understand banks are going to have to go off and do what they were originally created to be which your bank is supposed to not just be a our utilization of transfer money, they're really supposed to be where you can take your investments and have them grow. That's where they're gonna lean into when you That's say. just the end of the post office. Sorry, but it just is. That function will go away. The, the, what's gonna be left for banks is the high value add services, you know, structured finance, mm -hmm. investment advisory, mm -hmm. you know, uh, all of the things that make a dynamic economy function. We, we still need people to do that. There's a lot of creativity going on in finance. But the core of banking, the base of the pyramid, the thing that drives most of their revenue, doesn't need to exist. And that's why I say, and I was saying to one of the organizers, even before we stood up on this panel, 
Cryptocurrency does not seek to replace currency. It's a bad name. Mm. Cryptocurrency seeks to replace banking. Just if you take nothing from Wow, see, it, 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 and that's, that's where we have two different perspectives. I don't think that cryptocurrency is necessarily, it, it, it can be, you can realistically look at it both, both ways. In a certain form, it's replacing the, the fiat currency and becoming a, a currency in itself. But also at the same time with certain things like XRP, you're replacing certain key factors in a bank that realistically a bank was or, or what they made their millions off of. If you don't have to have that middleman to do your transactions and you already have, you have a, a, a natural authenticator, right? Where you're not having that service of a middleman and having to do transaction fees and three day settlement and things like that. You essentially, I guess, are going to be replacing banking, but still it might just be, I think, as they mentioned up in the in, in here, replace traditional side of banking. Because I don't think that you're going to ever remove banking. There's going to always be a part where you're going to have to have somebody that is a, a, a bigger institution that can, uh, you can take your money to and have investments and assets, 401ks, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I know we're not going to fully replace banking. And I don't think that you're going to ever fully replace a, a fiat currency. But what I, one thing I can say is that these are going to be the, step twos of those this is going from horse and wagon to uh ferrari you know the, the speed of it, the context of it. you still have the amish walking around with your horse and wagon you can walk with a horse and wagon on the highway now is that the most effective no did it remove the horse and wagon when they made cars no but it definitely you, you can kind of get where i'm going with that has replaced it in the sense of the traditional form of how that transportation goes and that's where i see crypto land in the lines of being able to do that with finance and banking now pull through last little part uh as everybody knows with jamie diamond on that clip where he was like uh uh xrp or not xrp bitcoin is illegal and should be banned i just found it highly hysterical as everybody should know one they had information jamie diamond has been buying bitcoin ever since 2000 like 18 2017 while saying that right or another thing is do not if they if they're telling you what to do do not follow it it's, it's cap but just let's pull through on the la the, the headlines of what good old jamie Di uh, diamond was involved in to say what's illegal and what's not illegal jp morgan settles jeffrey epstein lawsuit with u.s virginia island for 75 million okay that's already a reduce jp morgan chase and company agrees to pay 920 million in connection with schemes to defraud precious metals and the u.s treasury markets and i believe that that was with them doing that with silver which again guys understand on the the, the perspective of gold understand that that has been suppressed like many of those meme stocks have too we're not gonna get too deep in that like i said i'm not trying to get you know i want to get obliterated here listen i just want thoughts and yachts jamie don't hey I ain't got no problem with you baby i'm just reading what's on the page uh, J.P. Morgan grossly negligent over 875 million in Nigerian bank transfers. U, uh, UK court told. Wow. So I don't know how to say this. Abuja sues bank for 1.7 billion. Claim it was aware of fraudulent payments. Wow. And it's not done, is it? J.P. Morgan hit with 200 million in fines for letting employees use WhatsApp to evade regular re regulators reach but this is the guy that's gonna tell you bitcoin's illegal and crypto is illegal get out of here guys listen i'm stacking my bag and hopefully you're stacking yours guys listen last point if it's not your keys it's not your crypto i've watched a couple of videos with people that are popular in the space and i've seen now where a lot of people are now getting scammed and even with the and again this isn't a knock to ledger nano but even with the ledger nanos they're getting you know uh, uh uh defrauded as far as the scanners now they can pick up on your wireless at uh, um signal and then can also crack through there if you don't have that faraday bag right now check this out this is the thing I've been recommending from day one. I just got another one in because, like I said, I load them and use them as a one-time uh, um, cards. Of course, you can use more than one, but this is keeping op security. You've got up here just an explanation. This is your passphrase. This right here is your um, uh, address. You have to put those together online to bring the card online. Until it's online, nothing can be sent off the card. You can load up on the card from your 
uh, like for instance, I bought Uphold, which I have a video for. You can load coins onto the card, but it's in a, a constant offline mode until you bring it online, which is why I use it as a one-time thing. You get another one, switch it out, put it on, but you've got full security. This is a full cold storage wallet. There's no technology involved with this, but meanwhile, at the same time, with the Ballot app, you're able to see your coins, manage things, see price, things like that, send them on, right? And then when you're ready to make that move, you can send it to an exchange. And then, like I would say, if you have extras, I would buy a new big, uh, a new um, Ballot wallet and load those coins up on there. Like I said, guys, y'all check out the link in the description. I got a link to it for um, Amazon, the direct buyer, because you want to make sure that you're getting it directly from uh, Ballot, which was confirmed. I spoke with them. And then I I also have a direct link to ballot if you use uh click the link down in the description and then type in at uh, checkout so mon mon you'll get another five percent off you're getting these for now thirty dollars twenty five dollars you can't beat it there's no excuse do not family especially my family like i said hey i, I love xrpr i love all the crypto space but those that are in the money mafia please pay attention and heed these guys we're coming into with something where this asset is going to be highly wanted it was like my scat pack they got stolen those srt engines yeah, I wish I had had a kill switch. Do you hear me? Do not. You don't want to be caught afterwards. Get on it, guys. We're getting rich together. The time is coming. Hey, much love to y'all boys. We're about to get rich with it. I'm telling you, I'm about to have them in different flavors. Caramel, yellow, green, all on the yacht, baby. Hey, listen, much love to y'all boys. Y'all hold it down. And until the next video, guys, y'all already know we're going to 70 cents. Hey, fill it in there. Yes, sir.